Once upon a time, in 12th century Paris, a true romantic affair took place between two people that is among the most exciting and adventurous fictitious tales ever told. Pierre Abelard, a brilliant scholar and a man of church, became the tutor of a beautiful and intelligent woman named Heloise, who lived with her uncle, Canon Fulbert. Abelard became a lodger in Fulbert's house to teach Heloise philosophy, but the two's relationship was slowly turning into something beyond student and teacher. Both were free thinkers of their time, and had ideas that were considered less than acceptable by the church. Their mindsets completely aligned, and naturally, the two were drawn to each other. While they both knew it was wrong, they couldn't stop their hearts from longing for one another. They finally gave in to their lust. Months went by as the two indulged in each other's company. But their exciting love life only lasted until Heloise became pregnant. Canon Fulbert was furious, his niece had been seduced by her shameless tutor, and she had borne a child out of wedlock and made to suffer the consequences. In order to appease Fulbert and mend his shattered honor, Abelard proposed to marry Heloise, however, as a man of church, the news of his marriage would have caused an uproar in the society. He asked Fulbert to keep their marriage a secret, a promise he would not keep for long. When news of the two's marriage broke out, Abelard hurriedly sent Heloise away from Paris to save her life. Canon Fulbert, mistakenly thinking that Abelard was trying to get rid of Heloise, arranged a horrible attack on him. Abelard was attacked in his room at night, castrated, and put to great shame. He ultimately decided to become a monk to atone for his sins, and asked Heloise to do the same. Their story should have ended here, but it never did. In fact, what set their legendary love apart from the others were their desire and longing that never ended, even when they never saw each other again. Although they forbade themselves from one another's embrace, they continued declaring their love in the form of letters, a correspondence that has survived several centuries and found its way into the future. Their story moved Josephine Bonaparte, Napoleon's first wife, so much that she ordered the remains of the two lovers to be entombed together at Perelacis Cemetery in Paris. While not a fairy tale with a happy ending, theirs was a true passion that transcended time and place, and managed to show us that true love and devotion can withstand even the harshest conditions.